great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Iowa State Cyclones. We've got two very good small forwards here tonight that'll be matched up against one another. Number four is the floor general out there. He's got great court sense. On the other side, we've also got a great leader out on the floor. This will be a great matchup to track throughout the night. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Cyclones are facing one of their toughest opponents of the season, Dick. How do they win? These are these. Number one, set good interior screens to free up your big men on a block. Look to the inside first. Second, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to feed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. The ball goes out of bounds. Keeps his dribble as they reset. The power forward receives the pass. You betcha. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. I tell you, they're doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be dropped, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Roberts receives the ball. On the outside, Towns is feeling great out there right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Lobs it. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Down inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. They go into the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. Not allowing them to make that turn. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the foul shot. Oh, what a hard screen there. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now trying to feed the low block. The skip pass is picked off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. The power forward handles the pass. I 
nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of buff and shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. And he'll kick it back outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. The high screen. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a high screen. Shoots way off target. Becker handles the feed. Robs him of the ball. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. They work it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Nick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. From way outside. Both teams are looking to get something going here. For two, he is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. Here's a flash from the post up high. Shoots from outside. Gets it to fall. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Goes. Pressure's getting to him. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. They've left him completely alone. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Taken away. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes the jumper, executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Guy 
in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, both coaching staffs expected this to be an even matchup. Who will throw the first punch, and how will the other react? Thanks, Aaron. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For two, can't get the shot to go. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He makes the block. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover City now always ruling the gate. Any offense. Leading in, trying to draw contact. Watch the replay, Brad. Defense giving some room. High post screen. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he scores despite the hack. And he'll kick it back outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He got the ball back down to the floor and he stripped up. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Both teams are looking to get something going here. In the paint. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He sinks it. That's seven on answer. And that's basic. They're working around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? And now they'll bring it up. Stolen away. Got a guy right up on him. Arm and foul. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Booker steps to the line for the first time. First shot, no good. Second one is good. Now he 
faces up on the low block. I think it's great you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? There's the fake. They work it around the perimeter. They work it back to the outside. He shoots from downtown. Makes it. the perimeter isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper what a facial on that one take a look right here he explodes to the basket those are the types of plays you want a lot of these kids are on a roll look at them celebrating with one another hey Brad the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun That's an eight zip run. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes it off him. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the top of the circle, he hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's not going to nail these, Brad. off the lazy pass. On the outside. Tries to get the D to bite. There's the screen up on top. Kansas State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And the jam. the man on the high post if he can get it there jumps into the defender look at that drive there that's more like my stuff wow a little bush to pull off right there you always were a dancer <laughs> with a bucket doesn't go he intercepts it It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket to fall. <laughs> On the inside. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Gets two at the charity strike. Yeah. 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He gets the board. Turnover. Goes up for two. In and out. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. Kansas State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. That's basic. From right in the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Leans in. It's good. If you watch it again, it's even better. Trying to draw some contact. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? They work the perimeter. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Kansas State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Steals the pass. Pushes it up. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Searcy, pump fakes. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when they get great post position on the interior. Moving it around the perimeter. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness.
Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At the end of the first half, the Cyclones lead by three. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Iowa State is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. I tell you what, I'm not making mistakes. And both are doing a great job getting to the free throw line. I think that's been essential in their converting on a lot. Foul charge. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Gets the rejection. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. High post flashes. In the post. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. It goes in. Pressure on the ball, head on the ball. Launches away, way off target. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to... Rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. High post flasher is open. 10 seconds showing on the shot clock. The Cyclones have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Pump fakes. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the slam. Now that's what I call showtime. You better believe it, baby. the outside that's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball Dick the atmosphere the man is off the charts Brad backcourt violation call a little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time Dick I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locked it on the box Basket falls despite the contact. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Buries it. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. On the 
outside. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the dribble, gives it up. Here they go into transition. Perfectly executed. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, maybe. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like oh yeah. We're gonna move it around the perimeter. Shoots it. He gets it to fall. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from the top of the circle. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Tries for two. Jumps in. Iowa State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. I think right there, I gotta focus defensively. Working it around the perimeter. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Good job defensively. They work the perimeter. With a deep shot from outside. He buries it. Up and inside. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, he'll often end up with a personal foul. He's got a high post flasher. With a bucket. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Well, I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Got a man in high post. Takes the pass in the paint. The Cyclones have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There's the trap. Stolen away. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. How 
can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's crazy in here, Brad. Other team now, bad angle. Steal. Moving it around the perimeter. I, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the battle in the paint played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you, one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that... And a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number one makes his first appearance. I tell you, this young thing can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Now the high screen. From right in the circle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, perfectly executed. The replay reveals the deal, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Looking for contact. The Wildcats are trailing by six. Look at that spacing. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. He's open if he wants the shot. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. Here's a double team. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked it and took it to the basket. And he did that ball movement, get that good spacing. Blocks the shot. They push it up on the break. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. For the 
block it. They still don't score. Set that screen away. Goes up for two. Looking for the foul. Weaver was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Fakes the shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains it. They work the perimeter. Up fake. Nice high post screen. From three-point range. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those. He may wind up on a bench. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? All right, thanks, Aaron. They come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He nails the bucket. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. They move it into the front court. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice pass to the low block. Ten seconds to put it up. That's a 7 nothing run. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. This should be an easy bucket. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Everything they throw up. Keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two, the lane. On the dribble, gives it up. it off him. Gave it up. The power forward with the ball. Tries for two. No good. The point guard takes the pass. The Cyclones will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. Dribble gives it up. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. 
Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. They'll work it around the arc. For the deuce. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Dumps it in. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He is going to the line. Well, the arc looked good, and they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them washing their shots, Brad. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The small forward gets the ball, pulls the trigger. Kansas State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. look from three-point land. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? The post flashes up high if he wants it. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Makes an outstanding block. The ball goes out of play. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Easy one. Picked off. job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The power forward takes the feed. There's a double team waiting there. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Finger roll. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Up and inside. Buries it. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Looking for a good shot. 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he misses the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint for two. He puts it in with contact and all. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. The shooting guard gets the pass. loose but the offense got it back from three-point range rims out this one is going to overtime and the fans aren't going anywhere they're here for the duration baby don't head for the exits yet these teams are headed into overtime begin the first overtime. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Great defense. High post player flashing. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He lets it go. The Cyclones have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. He attempts the trifecta. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. That I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Tries for two. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Black. He takes the shot from the baseline. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. it up. He fouled him. Well, there's a 
turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnovers. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Gave it up. Steals the pass. the outside there's the trap he shoots from the top of the key knocks it down Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He nails the shot. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He strips him clean. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us again? Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. ready to start again. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Time to pick up the defense here now. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill-advised. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Gave it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That might be the turning point, Dick. What do you think? Hey, Brad, I think there's some players who shy away from making plays at the end of the game like this. Brad, let me tell you, but he's not one of them, baby. like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He puts it up. Not there. Look at that spacing. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. It's overtime, baby. Let's see where my PTPers are. Who's ready to take control? Any predictions, Brad? No, Dick, I think I'll just stick to the commentating rather than trying to predict the future. Neither team is given an inch as they enter the second overtime in a dead heat. Time has begun. Nobody's given an inch, baby. Shoots from the outside. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. He better get rid of it. 
Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. For the deuce. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks couldn't cure. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Takes away the pass. Way out on top, controlling the ball. For the bucket. Great way to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Here it is. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Controlling the ball. Stolen. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Easy one. And he'll kick it back outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Steal. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Momentary look from three-point land. That was nice. He intercepts it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Just about ready for play to resume. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. He takes it away. Look at these fans. They're loving it. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Timeout. Hey. 
Yeah, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Shot clock is dead. And yet another foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Gets the second. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Nick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. I tell you one thing, Brad, that's great to watch individually. But remember, this is a team game, so it's really how the team responds as a unit. Iowa State gets edged out in overtime. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can't come away from this game with a moral victory. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.